Today I'm going to be going over a tunnel based design in Rust. Now I've only seen this myself in the past two days. Um, I'm not entirely sure how long this design has been around, but I thought it was really cool, so I thought I'd um, share it with you all. Okay, so on the Happiest Island map, you have a tunnel. I'm not sure if some procedural maps have it. They may do, I'm not entirely sure. And you can build in it. And um, it's pretty simple to, to get it done. You just build in the entrance. So I've got a door here and a door here. Uh, that just leads up to a little viewpoint with a window. I'll just show you quickly. Looking over the front. And then you come out into the tunnel. And this entire space would be yours to build in. Now, as you can see, you can put the oil burner thing here. You cannot put large furnaces in here, or quarries, which is um, a down point, but it's not too bad. Um, this is just to show that you, all of the possible airlocks you can have. You can have multiple of these. You can defend your loot really well. And way over there in the distance, you can see another building which would be the other exit or entry so this entire space would be yours um, for a solo player it may be a bit overkill on the size but go for it if you want it I'm not going to run all the way over there, that's just the same as the other side was and you may have noticed the building hanging down from the pipe there um, and that's something I found out you could do. It's like a secret loot room. It's not so secret if you can see it. But I'll just show you how you get to it. It's just a matter of stairs leading up to the top. And duck under the pipe. and through this door here and then it's just a matter of running running along the pipes to get your secret loot room and that's pretty much it like the rest of it will just be building a base as normal but you have a huge amount of space to do it so you could you could easily put 15 sets of airlocks between your main loot room which will be in the middle and overall it's just an awesome base to have really I'd say it's much safer than the cave base because of the um, multiple entrances you're not locked into one and you can get out two ways oh well it's a short video but I'll leave it there for today thank you for watching you know what to do for like the video, and I'll see you next time. Today I'm going to be doing some testing between the bolt-action rifle and the new semi-automatic rifle. 